I promise you things are just not willy-nilly. They aren't, all right? Just ask Bill Nye. Just ask Neil deGrasse Tyson. Just ask Einstein. Whatever you do, don't ask a cognitive psychologist. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad inside joke. Anyway, um, so no, the word is determinism, folks. In other words, things happen because other things happen, which kind of gets weird if you think about it long enough because what was the first thing to happen that caused the other things to happen that happened this and happened that? Determinism, links in a chain, baby. Um, so this thing, right, affects this thing, affects this thing, but we're not talking about strict determinism. Strict determinism is a little different. We're not going to get into the philosophy of that, but determinism, remember, people often think, okay, well, I experienced this, okay, whatever this is, right? So I experienced some sort of reinforcement in the past, which then leads to me engaging in that behavior again in the future in a similar context. It's sort of determinism, right? The experience here determined what you're going to do there. It's not predeterminism. Predeterminism is, predeterminism is a religious sort of thing where your life is laid out for you. It's been predetermined. That's not what we're talking about. Determinism, one experience or something causes something else. Now, it does not have to be connected like links in a chain. I make the joke about links in a chain to help you understand it, but a links in the chain sort of thing is strict determinism, if you will. I'm just talking about determinism in general, where something that happens at this time, maybe this is 10 years ago, affects what you do today. It could be minutes, it could be seconds, it might be connected like this, but it doesn't have to be. So determinism, one experience, is cause, one experience causes something else, it's a normal sort of physics thing. That's really all you got. And in our field, in psychology, in this particular type of psychology, determinism is important because behavior doesn't happen willy-nilly. It happens for a reason because of what has occurred in your reinforcement history.